as a director, when you're looking for material, it's hard to find something that says, you have to make me. We need to put a hellfire through that roof right now. When I read Guy Hibbert's script. Weapon is armed. What's that? I thought, well, I know what I would do. And then I suddenly thought, do I know what I would do? He showed me a new way of looking at modern warfare from multiple points of view. And I hadn't read anything like that. This is Colonel Powell. She's going to walk you through the capture of Aisha Al Hadi, aka Susan Danford. Because it deals with a hot topic like drone warfare, how do you balance the storytelling so that it comes across more entertaining than preachy? I think the script does so well is allows you to see the questions and the, the hot topic issues through characters that sit in very different positions. And I think that that is what audiences appreciate. Um, no one is being preached to, no point of view is being rammed down anyone's throat. Um, it's as if we're a jury in the courtroom of the debate and we get to decide. What's happening? We're seeing a suicide vest and a whole bunch of explosives. What's the plan, General? We have the ability to strike a target with considerable accuracy. There's a theme in the film of those characters which are more sympathetic and the characters which are much more pragmatic about the efficiencies of war. I came here to witness a capture, not a targeted assassination. Dozens of lives are at stake if these men leave. Why was it important in the film to show that real balance between those two struggles? I think depending on where you sit in the so-called kill chain, you may have a very different approach or idea of how to handle the problem that the film presents. For example, Helen Mirren has been tracking a particular terrorist for six years. They cannot have her alive. Frank, I've tracked her for six years. This is the closest I've ever got. So we need to expand our rules of engagement right now to protect the civilian population. A hellfire through that roof is our most effective option. If you've watched someone doing some pretty bad things for 10 years, you might want them off your list. We are locked into this kill chain. I need legal clearance to strike. I'm the pilot in command responsible for releasing the weapon. I will fire when this girl is out of the way. If you're Aaron Paul's character in the movie, who is engaged in his first kill, every drone pilot has a moment when they pull the trigger and take human life for the first time. And that's why I love the fact that in the film there are multiple characters with different attitudes. Some saying, get on with it. Some saying, slow down. That's profoundly human. You have number four and five on the president's kill list in your sights. And you are putting the whole mission at risk because of one collateral damage issue. Minister. We'd be remiss not to, to say that millions of Alan Rickman fans will note this will be his last on-screen performance. Yes, which we had no idea at the time, so I feel very strange about that. I mean, he was only 69, so... What was your takeaway from working with him? What was your biggest memory? Dignity, humanity, intelligence, um, sharp wit, kindness. He showed up at the rap party. You know, no entourage. Chatted to every member of the crew. Um, he, he was just a delightful, warm, sincere human being and funny. What a genius. We need a decision. Ready. Right now. Three. Go! Two. Wait. 